It is estimated that 25% of children have an underlying undiagnosed vision problem. So that means that roughly about six children in every classroom is going to be struggling with some type of vision problem. One of the best things to do to help us start to identify when a vision problem might be present is to simply talk to our children about the things that they may be experiencing and struggling with. A good example is years ago I was giving a lecture to some faculty and one of those teachers went home and every dinner was talking to her family about double vision and what I had said about it. And her son replied, yeah, sometimes I don't know which football to catch. And the mom was absolutely floored that her son never thought to mention that sometimes he sees two of things. But her son had just assumed that the rest of the world saw the same way as him, so he didn't know it was important to say anything. So I always recommend first and foremost that we talk to our children. Another good option is to speak to the teachers as well, because they're in a unique position to observe our children doing things throughout the day that involve vision that we don't get to see at home. Then you can have the child and hopefully the teacher as well. Once you get their input, you can use that to complete a symptom checklist. And then you would want to take that symptom checklist to the developmental optometrist who can help review the checklist and do a thorough comprehensive functional eye exam to determine if your child has an underlying vision problem that may be beneficial to treat through something like vision therapy.